Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and have the news in details. Norton has reacted as President Muhammad Buhari didn't show up among federal government delegates sent to the state where he is. Nigerians are reacting as President Muhammad Buhari is not among the federal government delegates who arrived in Castina to commensurate with the government over Kakara attack. It all started when TVC tweeted, Justin, federal government's delegation led by National Security Advisor, retired Major General Bang Bangana Mongunu, arrives Castina to commensurate with the government and people over Kankara attack, attack abduction by yet to be identified bandit at Muhammad Buhari at Professor Shibajo at Defense Info Nigeria. Justin, federal government's delegate led by National Security Advisor, Retired Major General Babangana Mogunu arrives Castina to commensurate with the government and people over Kankara attack. Abduction by yet to be identified. In nothing, in nothing was not happy for President Muhammad Buhari is not among the delegates despite he is in the same state when the incident happened. He said the president who is in Daura, Castina State, sent a federal government delegation all the way from Abuja to go to the same Castina state to commensurate with the government and people of the state. And this one pass one chance we enter. All. The president who is in Daura Castina sent a federal government delegations all the way. Other Nigerians showed how disappointed they are with President Muhammad Buhari. What is the primary duty of the president? And where is he at this time when the electorate who put him in the office are grieving? What is the primary duty of the president? Buhari is just a toy that they bring out to destroy the masses anytime. Things get hot. Would not be surprised if he doesn't even know he is alive. Wow. So guys, what do you think about this news? What is your own take about Norton's reacting as President Muhammad Buhari did not show up among federal delegates, federal government delegates? That was sent to the state. You know, what do you think about it? The fact is that eh, Muhammad Buhari is their people. Why are they reacting to it? Are they not best of the same feathers? You know, I used to say this that uh, the Northerners are the number one problem that we have in the country. They are the number one problem that we have in the country. They are the one causing issues upon issues every time. And what I want us to know is that we have a fake government, a fake Buhari. It's a fake Buhari for that matter. And that is the problem we are facing in this country. You know, these Nottingham's people, they want to be in charge at all time. And we see no reason why the Nottingham's are now reacting. Are they not the one that appointed, that supported him being the president of Nigeria? They are the one. And Nigerians hold the Home Progressive Congress for the disgrace they have brought to the country and vote them out of power. And now, should we say that the man is afraid, afraid of being exposed many things are being kept secret? Is that the reason why President Muhammad Buhari does not want to show off? You, and you can imagine the CAS has even told the president that some soldiers want to kill him in a coup. And he is monitoring them. Do you want our able president to be killed? You know, the fact is that even them themselves, they are not safe. Because their hands are not even, are not even clean. But all what I want to believe is that he who lives by sword must die by sword. No matter what, where he hide. Because President Muhammad Buhari is a coup plotter too. Fine, we don't want our president to be killed by coup plotters. But even the president we are talking about cannot be trusted. When you look at the way the lives of people are being wasted every time, you can see that even President Muhammad Buhari cannot be trusted. We can even say that President Muhammad Buhari knows about the issues of Boko Haram that we have in the country. So what are we now saying? Let's hear people's opinion. Nigerians were saying that we are 100% convinced he is dead and buried. If he is Buhari, let him come out and speak his native language. Let's see. 
Nigerians are the most gullible people in this world. They have eyes. They cannot see. They said this fake, gover- this fake government told us that Buhari is in Castina. But it's lies. It's a big lie. We don't have a president in Nigeria. Only online president that we have in Nigeria. It is only in Nigeria that some people expect the dead to walk among the livings. If truly the man is in Asorok, is the man in Asorok is not Buhari, but an imposter, as it been rumored, it will be the biggest scam in the history from the northern Kabas, who have very few in numbers against Nigerians. And this might lead to Hanaki and Kehos, because when you look at things that is going on, you will see that ah. Are, you, are, are we really sure that we have, there is still President Muhammad Buhari somewhere? We ask ourselves that, ah, are you sure that President Muhammad Buhari is still alive? And all these things is happening? So what are we now talking about? So people were saying that and there is no need for President Muhammad Buhari to show up when the federal government's delegations arrived in Castina. He is the one who sent them, who sent them there. So his abstentions is nothing to be reacted. Fine, his abstentions is nothing to be reacted. It is not everywhere that pres- the president needs to be. Sometimes the president can send his, his delegate to appear in any event, but in in such a way that it keeps reoccurring and reoccurring every time, whereby President Muhammad Buhari. Is not being present in some of the major events gives questions to the people in Asu Rock. It gives questions to them because we need to ask them: Is still is, is still is this man still alive? And all this thing is is happening. So, viewers, what do you think? What is your haunting? Can you drop your comment? Have the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We we'll say God bless you and if you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will always be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. God bless you for always being there for us at all times. Stay safe at this crucial time. It is very important to you, Hemi. Have a lovely day. Bye.